Meanwhile, the two outgoing speakers of National Assembly and the Senate, Justin Muturi and Ken Lusaka, have officially qu quit their official roles as speakers of the two chambers of parliament. The two gave accounts of their time at the helm as they shepherded lawmakers. Shadrach Miti reports. Justin Muturi has been the National Assembly Speaker for the 11th and 12th Parliament. And as per the law, following the first sitting of the new parliament and subsequent swearing in of the new members of parliament, Motori had to officially exit his office of speaker. And although by the time Motori declared his exit, voting for the new speaker was not yet done, he spoke highly of Moses Wetangula, his inheritor, terming him a true friend with whom they have worked together since their days in campus. Moses Wetangula and I joined university at the same time. We were in the same class. <coughs> and uh, quite coincidentally, Moses Wesangula and I were even roommates in, uh, in our first year. Uh, so we have had a, had a long, long history. Moses Wesangula and I, alongside others, were appointed to serve in the judiciary on the same day, uh, where at, uh, Moses uh, reported at Nakuru, and I, again, coincidentally, was, po was posted to Bungoma, his home country. In his 10-year tenure as Speaker, Muturi says enacting and actualizing the law on the two-thirds gender was the most challenging. Nevertheless, he has a long list of his successes. It's almost impossible to actualize the two-thirds gender principle through standalone legislations because... Um, how would, you, how would you determine? Would you be saying that in certain constituencies there will be only men and in others there will only be women? And if you do so, are you not uh, again imp impinging on the rights of the, the people of that constituency or county? They joined university on the same day, became campus roommates, employed on the same day, and now they are taking over from each other as speakers of the National Assembly. Meanwhile, in the Senate, outgoing Speaker Ken Losaka exited even as he ushered in the new Speaker, former Kilifi Governor Amazon Kenge. Losaka says being Speaker of Senate after serving as Governor and now going back to his former office after being elected Bungoma Governor have made him understand devolution better. I have also been accorded another opportunity to serve the people of Bungoma as their third Governor, having served them as their first Governor. It's a rare opportunity. And I uh, must also thank God so, so much because for the first time I held two positions as a Speaker of the Senate and as a Governor at the same time until I was sworn in. So this is a real great honor and I just want to pray that um, uh, those who are coming in uh, from today, both the Senate and National Assembly. Yet his five-year journey as the second Speaker of the Senate has not been without challenges. I'm happy that uh, though sometimes I worked in very difficult circumstances, but I was able to conclude my term, my tenure as a Speaker of the Senate of the Republic of Kenya.